Hello folks and welcome back to the workshop. So what we've got for you today is a quick update on our Lexus uh, GS450H hybrid gearbox and inverter uh, series. Now a lot of what I'm doing now is to an extent stuff that I did a few years ago uh, but this time we've got a lot more knowledge about these permanent magnet motors and a bit of a better plan and on this occasion we actually have the uh, inverter uh, from the GS450H so let's go have a look at uh, what we've got ha happening here alright so what you're going to see obviously is that we've got the tail shaft of the gearbox turning here now at the minute in order to, to do that, um, all as we're doing is we're turning MG2 in open loop mode. So uh, no torque control or anything, this is just basics just to prove that we have a working gearbox and that the inverter, bit of re reverse engineering that I've done to date is in fact working. Now the inverter is on the bench here. And you'll see that uh, I've actually got MG2 plugged into the the MG1 uh, inver inverter three phase here, and I've got a Hubner brain board uh, connected with a few wires going into the inverter. Now I can't have the lid off because the main bus capacitor is molded into the lid, so I have to put the lid back on. Uh, in order to be able to put DC on this and run uh, the high voltage system. It's running at about 25 volts at the minute, so nothing too crazy. Uh, the original logic board in here has been basically lobotomized um, and I've reverse engineered the driving signals for the six IGBT channels. Um, there are six channels even though there's two inverters in here because um, unlike a traditional inverter where you have a separate drive signal for the high and the low side of each of the three legs with this particular um, iteration of Toyota inverter they use one drive signal per leg so when you let me see if I can rem remember this. When the signal floats high, the low side is on, and when you pull the signal low, the high side comes on. So they do their own dead time and all that kind of thing. So three signals for MG2, three signals for MG1. So basically, you might be able to see there on the back, we actually got these three uh, wires here. Let me see if I can get you guys in there a bit better. Um, these three signals here are literally sending our three phase uh, PWM in and that's what's spinning the motor at the minute. So really just a proof of concept uh, on getting this guy to uh, spin up. So what I'll do is I'm going to shut this down and I'll go ahead and I'll pull off the capacitor here so that you guys can see what's going on under here. So one other thing that's worth pointing out is that in order to run uh, with the direct DC bus and bypass the booster converter, we need to put our power cables in here through this little side port directly onto the big uh, bus cap. This one here, closest to me, is the um, is the ground and that one there is HV positive so positive and negative grounds the wrong terminology apologies for that uh, this is the positive so these are on uh, little six mil volt here um, so once you equip out the bolt 
should be able to just lift off the cap now on the top. Obviously I've had it off previously so all the gasket is well broken but there's uh, some little guide pins. There we go. I just need to come free so that takes the cap off. Let me swap you guys around here a little bit. you be able to see this. So that is the big main high voltage capacitor uh, that connects on to these guys here. So as I say, that's the positive, that's the negative. Now this here is the original Toyota logic board. Let me throw you on the, where you on the tripod and we'll get a bit better. Okay, so this is our original uh, logic board here. And this is the connection to the IGBT driver board, which is down under it. Um, basically, in this design, the uh, the motor inverters are driven through this guy here. Uh, the booster converter has its own separate connector, and these two guys here are for the MG1 and sorry, the MG2 and MG1 current sensors. So. Um, a little bit of a challenge on this board, but the good news is, as I say, we have it uh, cracked in so far as that we can drive the IGBTs, so that's the main thing. Next stuff is fairly straightforward, current sensors, all the Toyota current sensors work much the same way. as a 5 volts, negative 5 volts, plus 26 volts, and then you have your uh, two uh, 1 to 9 volt outputs from each of your current sensors there's seem to be duplicated for some reason and we'll figure out the booster converter stuff from this uh, connector here so good news here is we have this connector it's this uh, horrible um, JST connector that I had to get from Japan but uh, it is the same one that's the good news as on the Gen 3 Prius uh, these are these are standard JST connectors. Uh, they're commonly available. Uh, these main board to outside world connectors here, I suspect, are going to be a problem. Um, I've just removed the uh, external connector at the minute. Anyway, that's on obtainium as well. So unless you get, um, unless you get the loom from the car you're pretty much screwed but so I think I'll have to come up with a different type of a connector here and just a different you know just a pigtail to come out in place of this thing and in fact that's kind of what I'm doing here with this IS 300 uh, inverter I'm currently building up one of the boards here for this and Again, this had one of these completely unobtainium connect connectors, and uh, so what I've done is I literally just cut off the plug, and I've soldered on a standard amp seal uh, 23, and this will plug in here, and we can then just make our own amp seal um, plug to go in there, and just make a little bracket just with those two screws just to hold this thing in. It'll be pretty much good, and put a bit of sealer around it if needs be so that's kind of the that's a bit of the update on where we're at with our uh lexus toyota whatever you want to call it inverter hacking stuff at the minute so hope you guys have enjo enjoyed and um until next time don't forget to like share and subscribe check links in the description uh for patreon paypal github openinverter.org forum and of course my web shop where we will be shortly offering uh, both bare PCBs and uh, built and tested variants of our Lexus and Toyota boards that we have coming up so I will leave you guys at that and don't do anything too crazy on me and Happy hybrid gearbox open loop motor spinning testing thingy. <laughs>